Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit the honeycomb stitch. Okay, here it is. Just did a test because the way you pick up your yarn is very, very sensitive with the stitch. And I'm going to be using this uh, Red Heart Comfort yarn in the blue color, blue gray just using my stash and I'm going to cast on total of 20 stitches okay and I'm going to show you a trick because always when you start knitting it's so tight so what you can do is you can use a bigger crochet hook or you can double strand this and I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook because I'm I want to use a big uh, knitting needle I'm sorry uh, I'm going to be using a bigger knitting needle than it's suggesting because I want it because this stitch works with bulky yarn and big hook, big crochet uh, knitting needles. I'm sorry, I keep on saying crochet because I do crochet as well. <laughs> okay, so total of 20 stitches I'm going to cast on. And this is how I cast on. Okay, I do have a tutorial. You can go and check my cast on. I have several tutorials on how to cast on. But I'm just going to do it as fast as I can because... Uh, don't want to waste your time okay so total of 20 stitches and we're going to start knitting on the first row which is we're going to start from the wrong side of the of the work Fourteen, sixteen, and it goes between 18 and then 20. Okay, this I'm going to be knitting a scarf and going to be donating this. Okay, pull it up and it will stretch. Okay, so right away I'm not going to knit the first stitch. I'm going to slide it. I'm going to try to pull my work as, as bottom as I can because for some reason YouTube cuts my screen. And what happens is, um, it, if you can't see my how I'm doing it, so I'm all the way down here, and hopefully this will work. Okay, so I did a yarn over. Just be picky with how uh, how you do your yarn over, because this stitch is very sensitive. And the next stitch I'm going to slide, and the next one I'm going to knit. So yarn over this way, slide from the front and knit yarn over slide knit yarn over slide knit so it's a two row repeat yarn over slide knit yarn over slide knit yarn over slide knit Yarn over, slide, knit, yarn over, slide, knit. Okay, and the edge stitch I'm going to knit. Okay, so we finished our first row. The second row is we're going to knit two stitches. So I'm not knitting that one. So we're going to knit this stitch. This is the front of the work okay and then i'm going to knit this stitch and i am going to slide this oops sorry slide this without doing anything so knit knit slide knit try to knit as loose as you can or use a bigger knitting needle knit knit slide knit knit slide so we're not knitting the yarn over that's all we're doing we're knitting the knit stitches that we have knit on the previous first row knit, knit slide it's very easy and it goes super fast slide knit knit slide knit knit slide and then knit the last stitch oops that's loose okay so the third row, which is the wrong side of the work, how we started, remember? 
so we're not knitting the edges so what we're going to do is gonna go yarn over sorry about that someone came to the door so uh slide the first we don't knit the first stitch so you can see we're gonna knit these two together okay yarn over okay and then we're gonna slide this remember how we did it at the first uh, row but we have two stitches here so we're gonna knit those two together so yarn over yarn over slide this like this this just be careful how how you're doing it if you don't do it the right way the the pattern will not come become okay and then have this yarn here for some reason it tries to become in front but try to have it here so we have to slide this yarn and knit two together yarn over slide knit two together yarn over slide as to purl yarn over slide and then yarn over slide i'm talking fast and i'm my hands are slow <laughs> okay yarn over slide as to purl as if to knit but now don't, just don't do anything with that one and then knit these two to stitches yarn over slide And then knit this last one okay so we repeat what we did on the right side of the work which was the second row okay we don't knit remember we don't knit the yarn over I keep on going up sorry 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 okay here we go so we knit the knit stitch and we slide we slide the yarn over so it's knit knit the first one is a knit and then we slide just like this knit knit and pick this yarn like this don't do anything and then knit knit the yarn over pick it like this and move it to the next needle knit knit slide knit knit slide knit knit <laughs> i'm looking at the screen and i can't see here we go knit knit slide knit knit slide and then knit the last two stitches okay and then you will notice that the pattern is becoming see okay so i'm going to show you the wrong side again so slide this one So you can see the two two so we knit these two together remember so we're gonna go yarn over and slide this just like this and knit these two together when you see the two we're gonna knit them two together so yarn over slide okay how did I do that one I think I did it wrong okay be cautious I'm gonna go back and fix that one because uh, the next row would, wouldn't be. Yeah, see how I did it? Okay. Have the yarn on the back and then move this towards this like that. Yarn over. But have the yarn on the back, move it and knit two together. 
applied. So it's just a two row repeat. Uh, it looks like it's a uh, complicated, but it's not. It's it's really important how to pick the yarn and how to move it. So if you if you figure out do it the way I'm doing, you won't have any problems at all, and then you will knit a beautiful stitch. You can make baby blankets. You can make sweaters. You can make cardigans. It's chunky. It's like brio stitch. It gives you that uh, that thickness. And you can make anything with this. Afghans. Oh, it's endless. Scarves. Cowls. Neck warmers. Anything that you can imagine. Okay. Oops. Okay. Slide. And knit two together. Slide. Knit two together. Here we go. Let's move that one and then knit the last stitch. Okay, so it's just a two row repeat. Like I said, this is the front of the work. See, the more you knit, and you can feel it, it's, it gives you that chunky look. Okay, so let me show you one more time. So we do, we just do slide, we don't knit the yarn over. Remember, so knit knit and then slide oops i went up again i'm so sorry let me do that one more time yeah on the screen i can see myself but when i post this on youtube for some reason it just cuts and you can't see okay but i'm trying to explain so i hope you won't miss anything so knit knit slide okay knit knit slide this is the, how i'm picking is very important otherwise it does not work i tried it believe it or not something else comes out some other stitch comes out it doesn't work so just be careful how you're picking your stitch knit knit and then pick it from here like this move it towards here knit knit slide knit knit slide knit knit slide knit knit slide and knit knit and slide oops and knit the last stitch okay okay i, I stopped counting let me show you one more time the wrong side again okay remember slide how we did okay we knit these two together okay so we do a yarn over like this so just looking uh, let me just double check sometimes i forget because <laughs> i was uh the way I picked the last stitch, I was wondering why did that happen, and uh, I, I, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. My brain kind of just stopped there because I was focusing on how I picked that stitch. Okay, so um, I slide. I don't knit the first stitch, and I knit these two together. That's what I see, and then I go yarn over, and I slide this one from the front like this, and then I knit two together. Yarn over, okay, like this, and then slide this like as to purl, but the yarn is on the back, and knit two together. So I do this all the way to the end. This is all I'm doing. Yarn over, 
slide, knit two together, yarn over, slide, and then knit the last stitch. Okay, so this is the wrong side, and this is the right side. Okay, let me show you one more time. <laughs> okay, slide the stitch. Okay, so I'm going to knit the stitch and then move it. I'm not going to knit that one. So knit, knit, don't knit the yarn over, slide it towards the other one. Knit, knit, slide. Knit. It's the beginning and the end is, is a confusing a little bit when you start the new row. But other than that, the rest is easy as pie, as you can see. The beginning and the end is a little bit complicated. That's what I noticed for this stitch. I remember when I'm, this is not a new stitch though, the honeycomb. In Turkish, it's called Ishkambe. <laughs> I don't know why they named it that way, but maybe it looks like a stomach. Ishkambe, that's what it means, stomach, inside the stomach. You know, that uh, feeling when you touch it. Well, it does. Honeycomb, the, the holes inside, gives you that feeling when you touch it. Can you see the stitches? Yeah, so um, it's not a new stitch. And I remember when I was growing, everyone was telling me, oh, that's a hard stitch. You can't do that. You know, that, the way that they talk to you, you're the, like elderly people. <laughs> you can't do that. It's too hard for you. You're just a child. How are you going to knit this? <laughs> So uh, I've been getting lots and lots, and I never learned how to knit this stitch because of uh, people giving me that negative feedback, right? But um, that's all I'm noticing, like the beginning and the end. But when you continue knitting in the middle, there's nothing wrong with it. Because uh, that's why I get I keep on getting that confusing, but it's, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so here what we're going to do is... Remember how we started? So I was, uh, I always think, do I do a yarn over or don't I do a yarn over? I don't think we do a yarn over, but uh, let me just, I think we do a yarn over. Yes, we do. See, I always forget. So just be cautious. We don't knit this stitch. And when knit, I know that we knit these two together. So yarn over, slide, knit two together. So this is all we're doing. Just be cautious when you're starting the stitch and ending uh, the new row, starting a new row and ending a new row. Sometimes that, uh, and the way you pick the yarn, that's very, very important. See how, if you do it this way, it doesn't work. You have to do it this way for some reason. No, I'm kind of confused. How did I do it? I have to go back and check the video. And then that's another way, right? So what I'll do is I will uh, let you crochet a couple of rows. Well, I'm going to crochet and show you how it looks like so far. But it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant stitch. And it looks so different. See? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have knit a couple of rows, and I notice it's not a two-row repeat. It's actually a four-row repeat. And uh, the first row and the third row are the same, but it changes on the second row on the fourth row. So I'm going to show you how, how I figured that out. Okay, the first row I do not knit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, when you're, when we're knitting the right side we don't knit the yarn over so we know that so automatically when i see the knit stitch what i do is i knit knit and i slide this one so this is the super super easiest part but you need to figure out okay okay knit slide knit knit slide okay so th these the rest is easy. As soon as you figure out what to do, it's easy. It's the beginning of the row that sometimes you have to think what you're doing. So knit, knit, slide, knit, knit, slide. Okay, when I come to the wrong side of the row, I will show you again. What am I doing? Knit this one. And I'm talking. Uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't work that way. You need to pay attention to what you're working on, right? Knit, knit, and slide, and knit the last one. Okay, so I turn my work, and I don't knit the first stitch. And so I look, what am I looking at? Okay, so I see the two knit. So I'm going to knit this two together. I don't do yarn over. I automatically knit that two together. So I know that beginning. And automatically, okay, don't do it this way. Do it this way. Remember? Okay, I'm just going to double check again because I get confused as well as I've been knitting this for a while now. Okay, knit it like this. Okay, yarn over like this. Slide, knit two together. I believe I did the tutorial already, but I picked up the stitches differently, and, and that's the that honeycomb looks totally different. And I made that tutorial on August the twenty fifth, two thousand and seventeen, and I have like one thousand three hundred and three views. So that that became a totally different stitch compared to this one that I'm showing you. Okay, because the way you pick up the stitch is very important. If you do it differently, like the yarn over it that I just showed, it it totally changes the stitch. So I'm going to call this the real honeycomb when I do the uh, description on the title. Okay. Yarn over, slide. Knit two together, yarn over, yarn over, slide, knit two together. Slide and then knit. Okay, so we're on the front of the work. Okay. And see, see? <laughs> This is what we're looking for. This is the honeycomb stitch. Or ishkembe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Slide this one. Okay. Now automatically I'm going to knit these two together. Nope. No. We're not going to do that. I do apologize. We already knit two together on the wrong side. So on the right side we don't knit the yarn over. So I'm just going to knit the knit stitches. And slide this. Oops, I went up again. I'm so sorry. So knit the first stitch and then slide this. Okay, now I see the two knit stitches. I'm automatically going to knit those and slide this. So at the beginning, I knit and I slide. So that's what we do on the right side of the work. We don't uh, do yarn over. We only do the yarn over on the wrong side when we're doing the wrong side. Okay, slide. And I hope uh, you can understand this tutorial because it is a little bit confusing. It is the way you pick up the stitches, especially if you're a new beginner. Um, yeah, I wouldn't advise for new beginners because it, cause it is a little challenging. But the way you pick up, if you pick up your yarn over like this, and uh, by all mean try it why not like i said i because of uh, people telling me oh it's not an easy stitch i always was hesitate to knit this stitch unfortunately it's true like the brio stitch they kept on telling me when i was a kid no it's, that's not an easy stitch you can't knit this stitch and uh well, I, anyways, I didn't listen and I did knit the Brio stitch, but this one, for some reason, I never did. And this is how you knit the honeycomb stitch. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time because <laughs> I'm showing you it changes, right? Every odd number, it changes. Okay, so the first stitch I'm not knitting. Okay, so I'm going to knit these two together. So I see a knit. So what I'm going to do, I need to do a yarn over here. Okay, I'm going to slide this. Yeah. Here I'm doing a yarn over. But uh, remember on the previous row, 
it would the the two stitches were on the front so i knit the two stitches i didn't do a yarn over so you have to be very cautious so on my next after i knit the front and then when i come to the back the yarn the two uh, the two stitches will be here and i will knit that together okay i hope you understand what i'm saying okay don't know what happened here let's fix this this doesn't look right okay so knit these two together so always fix it if it's wrong yarn over slide and knit these two together the way we're knitting those two two stitches okay yarn over slide and i don't know what happened to my yarn over uh Okay, it looks like we did something here. Yeah, it should be like this. See? Something happened. Yeah. You can always fix it. Not that way. did something wrong there i will fix that and i'll be right back but um no that looks it's a garden it lost a stitch let me just fix that huh. see you can see the yarn over see the yarn over so when you're frogging it, be, just be cautious with the stitch because uh, this is what will happen. See? These two stitches. And you will notice it. So we were knitting these two stitches and knit and you can pick the stitches like that and you won't lose anything okay see it's fixed i don't know what happened there it must have slide or something must have happened okay i was showing you Yarn over, slide, knit two together. And uh, yeah, just be cautious how you pick up the stitches. And then other than that, everything will go nice and smooth. And you will start knitting the stitch. And it's so easy, actually. It's just that uh, you have to be careful how you pick up your stitch and how you do your yarn over and how you knit. Other than that, it's so easy. It's just, you just, the time you get used to it, right? And, uh, okay, I wasn't supposed to knit the stitch because I'm talking. And knit two together. Yarn over, yarn over. Just be careful. Yeah, uh, I'm going over and over. It's super easy stitch, but, uh, yeah, the way you pick up and knit it really affects the stitch. So I hope you like this tutorial. I just tried over and over how to knit the stitch and give you an idea and how to knit it, how to pick up. And I just love it, love it, love it. Yeah, this is so soft. It's unbelievable because the uh, Red Heart is a scratch yarn. But the, yeah, I would highly recommend if you have this yarn in your stash, definitely knit with this uh, stitch it makes it soft and smooth yeah so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and uh, don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i post a new video you will be notified that i have, that I have something up new yeah you guys take care happy knitting and i'll see you on my next video bye bye The back just looks like a pearl stitch, nothing different, but the front, oh my goodness, so nice.
Take care.